All right, so as we're talking about the demo part that we created with WTO, I want to bring in another partner company. This is Josh Hudson with LNS. Josh, you guys played a key role in some of the development work that went on here because not only do we need live tools to be able to create cool geometry, but we also need high pressure coolants, we need bar feeders, we need chip conveyors, all the things that Akuma, we don't build those things. We build a great machine, we don't want to be a bar feed manufacturer. So tell me a little bit about what we've got on our partner package here. Well, thanks Wade. So yeah, like you said, you know, we, we partner up, we provide the peripherals here. We have a new concept of LNS, it's called peripheral vision. And this is, LB3000 is exactly what we want. We've got all LNS peripherals tied in to just make this machine so much better, so much more efficient. So a few of the things we've got is, we've got an LNS filtering chip conveyor, MH250 chip conveyor. We've got our bar feeder, we've got our mist collector, and then we have our LNS chip blaster high pressure unit. Okay. So let's begin as I talk about uh, the, some of the geometry and the cutting that we did. One of the things I'm always very concerned about is how do we get chips out of the cutting environment. So tell me a little bit about the chip conveyor itself that you're utilizing. So this chip conveyor is our MH250. This one is built just down the road in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. This is a self-cleaning 250 micron chip conveyor. It's a sealed conveyor. Basically, none of the chips could get into the tank until they go through our filter boxes. Okay. And so what that does is it allows for uh, limited, it, it extends out the time between tank cleanings. Okay, so it keeps your pumps running great, keeps uh, the maintenance down, and it's very good for aluminum, titanium, brass, any of the materials that we're, that we're uh, doing today. Okay, so. so when you mention things like a MH250, that 250, that's the filtering value, correct? Yes, so that's 250 microns. We have the same model in a 500 micron, so an MH500, and then we have our newest chip conveyor, which is around the same size. It's called an SF Compact. It stands for Super Fine Compact and it is 50 micron filtration. We're super excited about that because in this size, you get 50 micron filtration, which is, which is unheard of. Yeah, that's fantastic. So when we look at parts like this, something that is a concern for everybody moving forward, as we look at a, a new way forward in manufacturing, we talk a lot more about lights out machining, automation, making sure we're doing more with less, things of that nature. So one of the things I like, this LB3000, this is our big bore spindle. Yes. So we can push a little over three inch bar capacity through the spindle on this. So that allows us a lot of flexibility to create a lot of different part geometries out of one common size stock. To do that, we need a good bar feeder. Tell me a little bit about the LNS bar feeder we've got today. So the LNS bar feeder we've got, like you said, to be able to run lights out, you need a good bar feeder. And this is a great one. This thing is a beast. It's built from the ground up, designed from the ground up to process heavy bar. So this one will run a, a diameter capacity up to four and three quarter inches. Made in the USA, in Ohio, by a great group of people. It's got our newest touchscreen control. It's very nice to operate and it just runs and it will feed bars like you wouldn't believe. And this utilizes our Think e EIP interface, so it's an Ethernet yes. plug this, and play system. This one has our eConnect system, so it ties in with the Think control. You can monitor alarms on the Think control. And the best thing about it is you can schedule the bar feeder from the control. So if you have multiple parts with the same diameter, in the past you have to go over, you would change the part numbers on the control, change your quantities. With the eConnect package, now you can schedule those runs so it adds for greater lights out capability. I got to piggyback on your eConnect statement. So one of the things I really like about utilizing eConnect is it plugs very nicely with our connect plan from Akuma. Yes. So from a maintenance standpoint, if I'm a production manager, I'm running parts, I've got a very tight schedule I'm trying to hit, I can utilize our connect plan tied to your eConnect to schedule maintenance, schedule downtime, understand what does the, the next three weeks, three months look like on this equipment and be able to plan my production accordingly. Yes, exactly. All LNS peripherals that you see here are eConnect capable and you can actually look at your plant floor as a whole, like you were saying, you can see alarms, you can see uh, the maintenance history uh, for, for all these units. So it's, it's very nice to be able to control the plant floor from a desk or remotely. Okay. So one of the tools that we used in make, making this was a cool speed mini mm -hmm. from WTO, super high speed spindles around 75,000 RPMs. 
and we drove that through high pressure cooling. We did that through the chip blaster unit. Tell me a little bit about the chip blaster we have on this machine. So the chip blaster unit we have on this machine is our V40. Um, so as you know, to really get the maximum tool life and speed out of a machine, you want to be a thousand PSI high pressure, okay? So our V40 is 10 gallons per minute. It is a thousand PSI standard. We have units that go up to 5,000 PSI and 50 gallons per minute. The great thing about this one is it's automatically variable. So depending on the orifice size, you may have a bigger tool orifice, smaller tool orifice. Our unit will monitor that and it will automatically adjust the flow through those orifices to keep you at 1,000 PSI. All right, and through the Okuma interface, you can actually program different pressures for different tools. You can, so if you only run around two, 300 PSI, you have a tool that can't process 1,000 then you can easily make those changes in your program and it will automatically adjust on the fly. Um, also, if you're trying to break through thin wall or something like that, you don't want a thousand PSI, it's just gonna blow through. So you can immediately make those changes without any operators touching the unit itself. Very nice. So to round out the entire package, you talked a little bit about the high pressure coolant. Sometimes high pressure coolant makes a lot of mist. Tell me what kind of mist extraction we have here today. So we have our LNS Fox mist collector. So this is a three-stage filtration system. We also can add a HEPA if you're getting dry smoke for like say oil applications, things like that. Um, but it's three-stage filtration, over 99% efficient, clean air. The best thing about the Fox is four to 6,000 hours of filter life. So typically, you know, you change filters maybe once a year. It's a very, very small package, super quiet package, and we also have a variety of mounting options. So our configuration here, we have it mounted on a rollaway cart. You can move it out of the way as needed. Uh, we can also mount it onto the LB3000. We can mount it onto an LNS chip conveyor, or we can mount it and integrate it with the LNS chip blaster high pressure unit. So very flexible, you can utilize floor space as needed. Exactly, yes. All right, good stuff, Josh. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Wade. All right, and thank you for joining us at Akuma's Partners in Think. To learn more about Akuma, any of our Akuma products, or any of our partner companies, go to akuma.com.